When you have the best orator in the country, irrespective of whether you agree with his ideology or not, campaigning for you in Uttar Pradesh, who also happens to be the Prime Minister with a brute majority in Lok Sabha, then you wonder why did the BJP miss a few tricks in its high-profile campaign. I do believe BJP ought to have projected a local face for CM candidate. After the 2014 general elections, the BJP was selective in projecting a face. Of the states that went to polls in the last 30 months, Haryana, Maharashtra, Jharkhand, the leader of the legislative party was nominated after the elections. Here, anti-BJP forces were up against years of anti-incumbency, giving a huge advantage to BJP. In states where the opposition had a strong CM contender, not giving a CM face proved counterproductive for the BJP. For example, Bihar. In Delhi, roping in Kiran Bedi at the last minute was an absolute disaster. After the Bihar debacle, BJP learned quickly and appointed Sarbananda Sonwal as CM face and won Assam, which is their gateway into the Northeast. In Uttar Pradesh, did the BJP have a state leader of the stature to match Mayawati and Akhilesh Yadav? Rajnath Singh was a good name, with others hovering in the background. But since he is virtually number two in the union cabinet with the Home Ministry, why would he come traipsing back to UP? A few other names in the reckoning could be Manoj Sinha, known to be close to Amit Shah, which is a huge qualification these days, Kesha Maurya, Mahesh Sharma from Western UP and Yogi Adityanath. So this opened up the responsibility for Modi to campaign hard and keep saying things to seek polarization. His go-to man Amit Shah also parachuted into battle when his best role is to be a backroom general rather than a stormtrooper. Both attacked local leaders, pointing out what's wrong in the state. This seems to have annoyed the UPites, who questioned why should Gujaratis tell us what is wrong here and who are they to correct it. I do believe you should use your trump card sparingly. Using Modi on the front lines all the time opens him up to shouldering direct responsibility for any defeat. Besides, why overuse your best batsman or a bowler so often? The BJP knew Muslims in the state would look the other way. That left upper caste to woo. Here, Mayawati, by giving 100 plus seats to Hindus, may have stolen a march. The Akhilesh RG combine of Karan Arjun is geared to safeguard their vote bank and prevent cross voting. That leaves BJP with the governance plank. Sudhar, hum karenge. Being from UP, I know the psyche of locals. Standing at a Maghai Pan Bhandar, they would say, Kon hote hain ye, hamara sudhar karne wale. That is the catch.